What is up you guys? And of course, as always, welcome to another level of Pokemon League Battle. And uh, yeah, this week we're going against Chicago Ursaring and Slow Formula. Now this is the NG League, so we're expecting to be rather niche stuff. Now before going into the game, as you guys can see, there are Pokemon here involved with RU. And there is primarily Sharpedo, but this is with out its hidden ability, so no speed boost, only rough skin, so kind of shitty actually. And also we see Jolteon. Jolteon has been deemed not necessarily the most viable electric type of the RU, so it's been put down here basically to broaden draft. Now overall here when it comes to um, slow formulas team, we're just gonna check that out, that's the wrong page. Uh, we have Jolteon, Palaswan, Odini, Shelgon, Simisir, uh, so poor I mean Sigilith, Servine, Silvalli, Ghost, Ravidash and Moal. So overall I would say his strongest threat towards me is uh, most certainly actually um, I would say Pill Swine and Jolteon, though Sigilith if it is life or could be very very annoying for me to do dealing with. But overall I wasn't too scared here. I'm using a team combination that I think is good. Um, there is a Scarfed, Adamant, Sharpedo. Uh, we have a banded Embor because basically he doesn't have a switch in towards Embor. And um, then we have Mushana with stall power, uh, basically filler, basic, but we can actually outdo a lot of damage. Uh, Vicavolt with agility, uh, Sil Valley, uh, the dragon type from my side, with the Tailwind. And I do believe it has its sort of Ice Beam and Draco uh, and Potting Shot. But overall, it's supposed to set up Tailwind, Potting Shot to Embor, and Embor basically claims a kill since it doesn't have any switching to Flare Blitz outside of possible Rapid Dash, but I could easily see that one coming in overall, I have the neutral plane Earthquake in most situations, and then Amber Pump with uh, Silk Scarf, basically Fake Out, Knock Off and stuff like that, very, very uh, copy paste version of Amber Pump, basically Amber Pump's role here was not too important because it didn't bring Pokemon that I think was deemed necessary towards be used for that, so really with all this said, let's see what goes down. I well, should say that I'm really, really clumsy when it comes to narrating on uh, uh, what do you call it the showdowns. So sorry about that. I will do my very best. Uh, so let's see, play. So right, he leads us up with Jolteon. I thought that was really cool. Um, clearly, Jolteon is a very, very scary Pokemon. Uh, I'm gonna go directly, actually, for um, a fake out as he goes directly for a uh, protect, which is really cool since it all definitely means that he, he has an he definitely was figured it out that I would most likely go to fake a first first matchup here. So I'll decide this in. I'm just gonna go for knockoff just to see which one to bring in. Actually brings in Chelgon actually. Uh, so this is great because we do knock off the Violite and we can also do massive damage for this Pokemon. And since I stated that I don't necessarily need my Ambipom, I actually go directly for return, just get the Chelgon done. Since this Pokemon can pass the wishes, I do not have any desire of actually seeing a coming as um, I go to my Dragon Seal Valley. Uh, I'll directly showcase the potting shot because I think it was switched out and not going to sight this Pokemon. Well, that is exactly what it does. As uh, so he goes for a wish here instead of Tailwind, I can't stop him going actually for uh, Protect here to try to get his HP back. So I actually lose a lot of momentum here as I go to Mushana. Um, probably wasn't my strongest switching actually, as I directly go for a Calm Mind. As we see in Mawile, we see that coming in without lie or intimidate. So this is Sheerfall's boost. I need to switch out. And he goes for knockoff, and he ruins my choice band. That's pretty darn bad, actually. And you know, of course, Tailwind Peter House. Uh, I can fortunately though go for a superpower, and it is enough to do it KO with Shellgun. I have no reason not to actually take it out. I feel like it's an annoying Pokemon before we deal with, since Vika Vault aren't necessarily hurting it all that much. So we get that out of the way. However. Uh, we're not in great spots with a rapid dash, and this could have drill run or um, high horsepower. So I'm going to be switching out as it goes to drill run. It doesn't do anything against Sil Valley, which is great. Um, and since I kept going for it, I was kind of predicting him to be scarfed at this point. So I didn't feel too comfortable here. However, we have a scarfed Sharpedo here, and liquidation should do a decent chunk. And it actually is two hit KOing no matter what here, the Sigilith. So it's out of the way, there's basically nothing to it, it's going down. Uh, but here's where it does a really, really strong play. He actually goes right for Mowile, knowing he can survive a liquidation. I don't have a switch into this, I actually go for liquidation, sacking my Sharpedo. However, he does miss the play rough, and that opened up the game wide open for me, because not only do I pick off 
that poor poor mobile but since we are scarred at this point we already confirmed that none of it's scarred unless rapid as each scarf we are really really strong suit and i'll start showcasing you know that my mushana is the disgusting set that is better call mine but unfortunately i should say you know we get flinched here luckily we don't get too much flinch as i'm able to actually go over a barrier we'll follow that up with a return or a rest and um basically uh, no matter what my opponent does here that is greggy there really aren't any way for him to maneuver around this uh, though it should be said that you know I'm not bulky enough to do, uh, to uh, chug actually a thunderbolt. Was actually predicting him to have shadow ball. Store power doesn't do necessarily all that much, but the matchup here will end up with um, both of us falling, which is fine by me because that only means that you know Sharpedo will wrap the game from there. So while there's a bit of a stall to play here at this point, we really are both in a spot where we can't do anything against one another. I have no intention of sacking anything outside of Mushana, and therefore this is what I'll do to play with around it. So we lose Mushana, nothing to it. I was really hoping here that we bought Scarves, it's why I'm actually bringing Sharpedo. Um, but uh, I'll find out here later on that I not only do our speed, but you know he was actually ground UMC. So British Flight had Drill Run over high horsepower ever. That said, Pilus one is last Pokemon, I have no reason not to keep going for liquidation, as it doesn't do as much as I want to, and Earthquake easily put an Ice Shard range, and just to save differential, I actually bring in my Embor. Now, it should be said here, he could have done the big boy play, but that would just meant that the end, my Vicka Bolt would have wrapped up the game with uh, actually a uh, Bug UMC uh, Bug Bus. But we win this game 4-0, um, it really comes without saying that, yeah, Missing that play rough on the break side really did open up the game. I think I had ways of playing around and since I still had my Seal Valley with Tailwind support, both of Vickavolt and Embo. And I wasn't fearing the situation at all since I would have speed more well no matter what. But it definitely got easier for me due to it because not only do I get massive amount of damage towards the mobile well directly, but I also can keep maneuvering with my Sharpedo due to it. So I I definitely feel that I have I was in a winning position, but we don't know whether or not Greg could have played around it because he lost my the way he did. Because I definitely feel that if I had a grander play in mind, I would not have probably foreseen it because I was in such a good spot. So this game could have turned it up wide open. Though I stated I think the way things were going, I was in a winning position was whether or not Greg could maneuver around that to actually steer the game to his favor. We don't get to find it out, and I think that's unfortunate because player off in light of 5% accuracy, it is an unfortunate miss. There is no way going about it. Um, so, for his work, Greg, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's one of the worst type of hacks to be losing to, and I definitely feel your pain there. Uh, so, with that said, for everyone watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more showdown, I should say, be, feel free to say so. I'll, I'll try to figure that out. I really want to do some laddering, but as stated, I'm not the best on this type of a platform, so you know, I'll try to find a way to make the editing better. So that's it guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.